Italy, the Azzurri, one of history's most successful footballing nations both at the international and club level. The peninsula has produced some of the greatest players this planet has ever seen, and their four World Cup titles back up that fact. Although they've become famous for incredible defensive displays over the years, Italy are no slouches when it comes to world-class attackers either. They've turned out gritty defenders, flashy forwards, classy midfielders, and everything in between, all the while maintaining a winning tradition for decades. Italy have an incredibly long and rich history, and there have been a number of legendary players to come through their ranks throughout the years. These are the icons of the Italian national team. When it's all said and done, Gianluigi Buffon will almost certainly go down as the greatest goalkeeper to ever live. Nicknamed Superman for his gravity-defying saves, the Juventus keeper has been Italy's undisputed number one for four World Cups. He's been part of a record-breaking five Copa Mundials, and no other player in history can match that number. Legendary goalkeeper Dino Zoff's resume is so strong, there's a real argument there that he should be included. He's the oldest player to ever win a World Cup, winning goalkeeper of the tournament in 1982 at a staggering 40 years of age. But when it comes down to it, Buffon's pedigree is truly unmatched. He's Italy's most capped player with 173 appearances, the most capped European international of all time, and the fourth most capped player in history. He was between the pipes as captain when Italy lifted the 2006 World Cup, kept five clean sheets, and conceded just two times throughout the entire tournament, neither of which were in open play. Buffon is without a doubt the greatest goalkeeper I've ever seen play. The 2006 World Cup is uh, particularly close to me. He made that summer the best summer of my life lifting up that trophy along with the other champions in that team. But what makes Buffon so special to me is not what he does on the pitch, it's what he does off. He's a true leader and the greatest ever. There's no bigger security blanket than having Gigi Buffon between the posts and the 2006 World Cup epitomized that. He only let in two goals, none of which were from open play, and he finally got to lift that World Cup trophy and it's absolutely well deserved. Gigi Buffon's ability to keep the ball out of the net has become almost mythical over the years, but he didn't do it alone. Some of history's greatest ever defenders have turned out in the Italy shirt and they don't come more legendary than Paolo Maldini. One of the game's few high-profile one-club men, Maldini spent his entire 25-year professional career at AC Milan. A supremely talented and complete player, Maldini was equally capable as a left back or as a central defender. During his club career, the Milan native won an absurd five Champions League titles with the Rossoneri and a further seven Serie A trophies during his time at the club. One of the greatest players to never win an international trophy, Maldini's luck never matched up to his skill. He lost in the final of both the 1994 World Cup and Euro 2000, and in the semifinals of the 1990 World Cup and Euro 1988. Still, it wasn't for a lack of quality on his part. He was elected into the All-Star teams for each one of those tournaments, as well as in Euro 1996. There's an argument that former teammate Fabio Cannavaro, who beat his Caps record, record for most matches as Italy captain, and got himself a World Cup win, should sneak in ahead of Il Capitano. But ask any Italy supporter if Maldini deserves a spot on Atsuri's Mount Rushmore, and you'll never get a negative answer. When it's all said and done, Maldini might just go down as the greatest defender of all time. Paolo Maldini, whenever you hear his name, it's together with the most legendary football players, having the third most Italian appearances in history. Not many could say that. He was one of, if not the best defender, not just in Italian football, but in world football. He was on the team for over a decade and a half, and although he didn't win a trophy as far as like the Euros and the World Cup, he still was the absolute face of that team and probably a generation of defenders going forward. Over the years, Italy have become known for the insane crop of defenders they pumped out over the years, but they produced a cadre of wonderfully talented and imaginative midfielders and attackers as well. Il Codino Divino Roberto Baggio may just have been the most talented of them all, while Alessandro Del Piero, Francesco Totti, and the coolest man alive Andrea Pirlo all have arguments to put their names up in lights. When it comes to the Azzurri though, you cannot look past Paolo Rossi. One of only three players in history to have won all three awards at a World Cup, Rossi led Italy to the 1982 trophy, claimed top goal scorer with six strikes, and picked up the golden ball for player of the tournament. Rossi's story is an incredibly unique one. Somewhat of a journeyman striker, injuries threatened to derail his career before he found a home at Vicenza and became the first player to ever claim top scorer honors in the top two divisions in consecutive seasons. Called up to the 1978 World Cup, he scored three goals during the tournament as Italy finished fourth. Just two years later, Rossi was handed a three-year ban for his alleged involvement in a betting scandal. The little striker had his sentence commuted to two years, and despite his lack of playing time and hopelessly out of shape, he was still included in Italy's squad for the 1982 World Cup. 
His first three matches at the tournament were a disaster, and he looked completely out of place in the Italy side. Despite that, Italy still progressed past Argentina in the first knockout round, and then it was Rossi time. He scored a magnificent hat trick to help lead the Azzurri past Brazil 3-2, netted both goals in their semi-final win over Poland, and then grabbed the first as Italy charged past Germany to win their first ever post-World War II World Cup. To this day, Rossi remains tied as Italy's all-time leading goal scorer in World Cup history, alongside Baggio and Christian Vieri with nine goals. And he's forever known as the Torero for that epic run in the World Cup, an eternal legend. Paolo Rossi was obviously a little bit before my time, but whenever you say the name, I say it to my dad, I say it to my grandpa, and they always respond with one thing, and that's the three goals he scored against Brazil that got Italy the 1982 World Cup. He won the golden boot, the golden ball, and the Ballon d'Or in that same season. Who else has done something like that? Paolo Rossi. I've never heard someone talk more about an Italian forward than Paolo Rossi, the way he basically captured the hearts of all Italian fans in 1982 in that World Cup. It's just not something you really hear of when you speak when you think of like an Italian player. It's like being a prolific scorer. It's always about the defense, about counterattacking football. But like Paolo Rossi really, really captured the hearts of that 1982 World Cup and will forever be remembered as an, a true, true legend as far as being an Azzurri player. One of the most esteemed and accomplished nations in footballing history, Italy have produced some of the greatest moments we've seen in this game. There have been plenty of legends who helped create those moments, and to pick just three is a nearly impossible task based on the quality to choose from. Between Buffon, Maldini, and Rossi, you'd be hard-pressed to find three players who represent the country better. Agree or disagree? Hit us up below. Forza Azzurri.